This is the picture of their child before surgery. Before surgery. Before surgery. Before surgery. Before surgery. See, even as horrific as he lays. I don't give two cents for Before surgery. Look at here. Anybody that wants to see it, before surgery. I promise you this. As horrific as those pictures look on your local 2546, that's after the surgery. That's after the cleanup. That's after the cleanup. If you don't understand that we're out for better policing to prevent innocent civilians from getting harmed, then you are sick in your brain. Did you see Mark? Before I bring State Senator Ford up, I just want to leave this one little nugget on you. This is the same police unit that killed a white, aspiring young preacher. If they'll shoot a white young preacher down in the parking lot of a gas station and then blow your babies up in the middle of the night, imagine what they'll do to you. State Senator Vincent Ford. Thanks. Good afternoon. I did myself. Good afternoon. I ran for office here. You said I ran for yes, I ran for office. Our first priority, of course, has to be this family and making sure that this family is made whole and maintain prayer for Boo Boo. In a very real sense, our second priority we got, we got has to be my that to what happened to baby myself. Boo Boo happened to nobody else's child. That is our moral responsibility. If we sit by and cry for baby Boo Boo, and then don't do anything, shame on us. And that's why we have a lot of work to do. And I want to make two points. One, we have a policy imperative. We have to be ready for the legislative session in January and make sure that no knock warrants are put under some very serious restrictions. And we're going to need to not have a great moment like this. We need a what? A movement, not a moment, but a movement. To go to the state capitol and say that we want to put restrictions on no-knock warrants. I do not myself advocate doing away with them altogether. But they should be rare and not common, and they should be restricted. And what we have to do is not be fooled by the hype, because the hype is already coming. What do I mean by that? There are those who will introduce legislation that is a way of preventing real serious legislation from passing. They just want to do what? Do something to placate us. We will not be placated. We will not be diverted from our goal. We will make sure that no-knock warrants are not used in a way that they were used two weeks ago. Make sure that they will be not used in a way that results in the death of a 92-year-old woman, Catherine Johnson, in Atlanta. Good. <laughs> that is our moral imperative come the second Monday in January. Beyond that, we have work to do as organizers. We have to make sure, and this is very important, we have to make sure that it is a struggle that is both what? Black and white. We have to make sure that it is a struggle of young and old. We have to make sure that it is a struggle of urban and rural. North Georgia, Middle Georgia, and South Georgia. We have to come together in a mighty movement that is diverse and strong. That's why, at the end of the day, this is just one step in a long march toward justice.